It's like a little halo under my head. What's happening guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've not been around for a few weeks. I've been pretty sick. In fact, my whole family's been sick. My daughter's had chicken pox. Uh, there's been a bug in the house. Yeah, we've all been quite poorly. So I've had to not, I've not really done much. So I have, my listings have slowed. Now is this coincidence that my listings are slowed? I've still been getting listings up, just not my normal sort of 24 to 30. I've been getting up sort of, I don't know, 12 to 18 a day. Um, but my sales have really slowed. And um, which is a bit odd. I mean, I still have not a sack going out this weekend, but there's nothing like the last last month, you know. I was doing a you know a sack a day, not a whole weekend. So I've been going over my store and I've noticed, sorry, that I've got quite a lot of old listings that have been on there, some of them a year, that, that kind of need addressed. Um, so what I'm going to do is start again, as you see from the thumbnail there. I'm starting again. I'm going through from the oldest to newest listings and I'm going to refresh the listing. Um, some of them I'm going to put on auction. So I get 300. I'm starting to get charged in surging fees now because I've gone over my limit and my store. I've got a middle store. That's what they called based. That standard store is that what they're called? Uh, so I get 1500 listings that I can list and I have to pay after that. Um, the next one up for me is an anchor store and I'm not ready for that yet until I get to sort of well, until the insertion's fees cost around the same price as an anchor store each month because the anchor store is about £480 a month, which is quite a lot. Where an extra list in at the minute is only costing me six pence. But when them six pence add up to 460 quid or whatever it is, I'll then go over to an anchor store. So what am I doing? Well, what am I doing? So I have a few totes here I need to go through. This is what's left of the old SKU system. Um, so it's stuff that's been in my store since maybe October last year. Um, so I need to go through this and re-skew it anyway. So I'm going to start with that and re-skew that today. That's going to be done today. I've only done 12 listings. So I've dropped in my listing goal in order to sort my store out. Um, and I'm going to work on... Because I've learned a lot being on daily refinement, being on Chris's channel, um, on, you know how to list an item correctly primarily and there's a lot of my listings that i'm not really being seen and i think that's because the titles are wrong the item specifics are wrong the description's not great the photos are not great all the stuff that i um basically need to sort in order to sell a product on ebay and i reckon i've got maybe four or five hundred units i need to kind of reevaluate and go through um and relist or get rid donate if i have to do you know what i mean so that is the plan and then hopefully this the stuff start this stuff starts start shifting you know i still got so I've, i'm out, i'm running out of clothing items in terms of the two thousand pound haul i bought um with the two thousand units i still got a few items from it though all this stuff here um but it's all like hardware stuff like games and that and and these lot of nerf guns i have tied it a bit here so there's a little bit there that needs to be done this here i'll just get the camera in the right position so this behind me here is unprocessed stock so that needs like washed um some of it needs repaired or donated but but most of it's like needs washed and processed so that would boost my uh, give me some more units of clothing to list there also bought a do, 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 nick and hills i don't know if you watch nick and hills they're a great great couple that sell on ebay and they also do a youtube channel so um i bought some clothing off of them they were they're getting rid of they're clearing out because they're moving um i think i paid 80 pounds i'm just waiting for andrea or andrea to get back to me on price of postage so that will give me another maybe day of listing there which is great and we'll get that up uh, I like buying off of pickers, you know. I would pay a picker to go out and pick for me, um, and I'll list. I'll be happy to do that with clothing because they know what to look for. Another thing as well, like these coats, they didn't, they haven't sold. I've sold a few, but they're not shifting, so I need to look at them. So that is what I'm doing, guys. So I'm just coming on primarily to apologise for not doing a video for the last few weeks, but you know, family first with sickness, right? And tell you what's going on and what I'm going to be doing. So. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to go through my whole store 
um, from the oldest listings. I'm going to end the listing, reevaluate the listing in self similar. But it does mean that I'm going to reduce my store listings to 24 a day to 12 a day, which means the store will be growing a bit slower. Because I am, you know, I, I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I am trying. I'm trying to get to 10K uh, units in my store. But there's no point having 10,000 units in your store that's not going to shift, right? So I do need to look at that. I'm currently at 1,500 units in my store, which is, you know, it's a nice number. Uh, but I don't want to be buying any more until I've sorted out all this old stuff, or at least got rid of it i mean th th this process could bring my numbers of my store down as well because i think there's stuff in here that needs to basically be donated you know some brands that sell but you know they don't sell for much or might not be you know worth worth selling i don't know i have to think about that and kind of weigh that up weigh all that stuff up um i've also got some fakes as well that i need to get rid of and have a general tidy up down here so yeah, have you guys ever done that? Have you guys, are you the kind, do you guys list and just leave it? Or do you go back and improve your listings? Drop a comment underneath, guys. Let me know what you do. Do you, is it worth me going back and reevaluating and going over my store? And how much of it shall I do? I mean, I was thinking doing sort of 1% of my store daily. So sort of 15, go over 15 listings a day, ending and relisting, which will bring, you know, my 12 normal listings uh sorry how many do i do and i'm 14 actually and i'm 14 but let's say with 12 normal listings which is half of my 24 plus 15 ended and relisted listings should bring that listing count back up and get, still keep me on track but problem the only problem with it is growth you know until it's done the growth of the store is kind of going to come to a standstill and also when i'm doing all this sort of hardware stuff you know that's that stuff takes longer to list than, than, than clothing because my processes are for clothing so it could be a little while before i actually get up to that 2000 mark in my store which was i was hoping to achieve that sort of next month maybe this month end of this month beginning of the next doing you know 24 to 30 units a day but can't see that happening now so yeah starting again let's do it okay so it's two o'clock i'm just about to go on the zoom call with Chris from Daily Refinement. I have skewed some of the stuff, not all of it. I'm hoping to get that uh, finish skewed off by tomorrow. Um, okay, so now I'm going to... I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm starting with this box. 0001. I'm going to pull that box. I'm going to search the SKU number. And go end the listing and relist it. I'm going to go through that whole box. Anything that needs new photos, I'll be leaving to one side to photograph tomorrow and redo. Um, and the, the rest of the stuff, I'm just kind of like, just opt I'm optimizing it fully, optimizing it fully, uh, which will bring my list in tally because I've done 14 today. So it will bring it up that I've had 24 active listings into the store, but the store will only grow by 12 instead of 24, but it needs to be done. And the way I'm going to do it, I figure because I condense all this down is going to literally be the first row along the top here to along here. It's going to be old listings. And when I get down to about here, it's kind of uh, down to about here. I just can't see there. It starts to get to the sort of new stock. Um, see, like here is a Christmas jumper that I would have listed in November, right? So the end of November, beginning of December, I would have listed that. So everything prior this box here is october and november basically i think the difficulty is the re-skewed stuff now the re-skewed stuff could be anywhere because um i didn't necessarily skew it in that time frame but the best thing about doing it this way is it has been condensed down so the old stuff with bad photos or the item titles wrong or whatever would have eventually moved down into these sort of first load of boxes uh do you know does that make sense okay so i'm going to do that now while i'm watching the zoom call thanks for watching the video any tips or you know if you've got any tips for me on uh, the best way to approach redoing my store 
uh drop a comment appreciate it don't forget to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing just maybe hit that subscribe button just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit, bit. and i'll catch you in the next one